Welcome! In front of me I have MA3 Band 7 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this smart band on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your smart band. Before we start, if you want to enable the phone notifications uh, on your smart band, your smart band needs to be paired uh, with your phone via this uh, application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the Zep application on the phone that is paired with our smart band. After the application opens, you should see the home page. Now you can tap on profile icon, then select your MA3 Band 7 from the list of devices. And here on this page, find the notifications and reminders. And right here we can enable uh, notifications for incoming call, amp alerts, incoming SMS. First let's tap on incoming call. Right here we can enable the notifications for calls. So for, so for example, if somebody calls you on your phone, the smart band will uh, vibrate and alert you about the call. And also it, will, it may display the uh, contact information if you enable this option. Uh, before we enable the incoming alerts, you see that if you have the yellow message right here at the top, it means we need to enable required permissions. So keep tapping on the yellow messages and tapping on allow. Once they disappear, you can enable incoming call alerts, tap on got it, tap on OK. And as you can see, more permissions popped out. So keep allowing them until they disappear. If you see the ND permission required, tap on go to settings. It will redirect you to do not disturb access. Scroll down, tap on zap, tap on the switch, tap on allow, and then go back to the app. And okay, we're done with the permissions. Now we can uh, enable and disable the uh, incoming call alerts um, whenever we want it. Okay, and once you enable them, you can also enable and disable the option to show the contact information. You can enable or, disa or disable auto SMS reply if you want to. You can also tap on manage SMS replies and here you can add new replies, edit the old ones. You can remove them. You can change the order on the list um, like that. I believe you can tap on them. No, you can't. So you can only add new ones if you want to. So you can tap on add, type in something and tap on save like this. Okay. Next we have delay alerts. This option allows you to uh, delay the alert on your smart band. So if somebody calls you, the smart band will wait a certain uh, period of time and then it will alert you about the call. And you can tap on uh, set delay and set the delay right here. And you, you can do it from 10 to up to 30 seconds, I believe. No, from, from 3 up to 30 seconds. Okay. So set the delay and then tap on OK. Okay, so that's about the calls. Let's go back. And here we have the app alerts. Let's tap on app alerts. As you can see, we have the warning message, so we need to allow the permission. It will redirect us to the notification access. Here we need to find the Zep application, select it, then allow the notification access. And then we can go back to the application. Now we can turn on the app notifications. And here uh, we can enable and disable notifications for specific apps. So for example, if I enable the notifications for Discord and I receive the notification from Discord on my phone, that notification will be forwarded to my smart band. If it's disabled, it won't be forwarded to the smart band, so you will see, see it only on your phone. So if you want to see the notifications from applications on your smart band, you need to enable them right here. Okay, so I'm gonna enable Discord. Come on, like this. You can also enable the option to notify only when the mobile screen is turned off. So basically, if you're using your phone and you receive the notification and the screen is uh, uh, it's not turned off, it's basically working, turned on, uh, you won't receive the notification on your smart band. But um, if you disable this option, you will receive it anyway. So it depends what you like. Okay, let's go back to the notifications and reminders and tap on incoming SMS and here we can enable the notifications for the SMS messages. And once you're done 
you can close the app and at this point you should be able to receive the notifications. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. We should receive the notification on our phone for some reason. No, we didn't. So let me actually check something. Let me turn on the do not disturb mode, turn it off and try again. No, this time it worked. As you can see, we have the notification uh, from on our phone and also on our smart band. And if you miss the notification on your smart band, you can always swipe right on the home screen to open the notification menu. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this smart band on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.